Hello, babies. Oh, you um, you have a weird shaped head there, guy. You need to uh, sleep on your uh, sleep on the side a bit as well, I think. <laughs> Very cute. Hello, my dear chop choppers. How are you doing? Here I am. <laughs> I'm standing here outside of the uh, office we built in the last episode with uh, Mr. Angry Face here, uh, the boss man himself, and I am uh, currently just enjoying myself in uh, this world and with with what we did here. So flip flop and the flip flop. <laughs> now, what did we do last episode? We did this, of course. You saw that. You you watched the last episode, right? Yeah, so we did the office here with uh, Captain uh, Angry Face, and we also... What else did we do? I need to think. Ah, yes. Of course, we went to the end and found no dragon. We had issues there, so we fell into the void numerous times just to get out of that darned dimension. But at least we got our elytra, and I'm so happy for that. So let's take a fly and take a look at what we should do today. <laughs> So in today's episode, I mentioned this in the outro last time, I want to build a creeper farm, and I want to build it somewhere around here. Probably... This is a nice open space. And quite close to that one, so you can load them both at the same time. We're gonna do it here. Yes, perfect. Now we have that planned out. Why do we want to build a creeper farm, you ask? Well, of course, it's because currently, the rockets I'm holding in my hand are all the rockets I have to my name. And I want to fly. I want to... Uh, but down, not down. I want to fly up. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do first and most forward. And then... We're gonna do this. I have been talking about this for several episodes and I keep on forgetting about it and putting it off and doing something else. But I want to build up this... Uh, that I call the Project uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Basically... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I uh, was in the mood for playing some uh, Breath of the Wild again, and then I realized that's not a good idea, Martin. You spend all of your time in Minecraft, so you don't have time for Zelda. Hmm. We'll wait until the number two game comes out. But yeah, so uh, I figured instead of playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, maybe I can bring a little bit of Zelda into this world. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And it's not gonna be like an exact copy of anything Zelda Breath of the Wild. But it's going to be heavily inspired by it, so to speak. And when we do it, I also think that I have a dirt stairway to heaven. No, to nowhere. Stairway to nowhere. Yeah, anyway. Um, hello, babies. Oh, you um, you have a weird shaped head there, guy. You need to uh, sleep, on your, uh, sleep on the side a bit as well, I think. <laughs> Very cute. Um, where was I? Yes, but I think we are going to jump right in the first, right into the first time lapse and build up the creeper farm because we need gunpowder. So let's chop it away! Well, would you look at that? Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Well, no. Me neither. It looks horrible. 
absolutely horrible. Even the iron farm in its nakedness looks better than this stone blob. But yeah, we have a creeper farm and uh, it went fairly fine. I built it a couple of times before, so it wasn't really a big, uh, big of a deal. Except for, as you maybe saw in the time lapse, the water mechanics in Minecraft. They are... Well, they're weird, and uh, depending on <laughs> how you add the water, it will uh, flow differently. So I had some issues there, and uh, yep, I solved it. So let's go down and see if it's working, see if we got any gunpowder at all. Oh, I can hear creepers dying. Dirt. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. This is, this is perfect. Can you hear it? Can you hear it sizzling? <laughs> well... I'm happy because we are getting creepers right now and the issue is that this farm really should be built somewhere else uh, than uh, on the ground like this because uh, yeah, it might be that not all mobs spawn inside the farm but they might spawn down in some caves that I haven't lit up yet. However, I was willing to take the gamble because I wanted the farm close to the base and also I've lit up <laughs> so many caves. So many caves. <laughs> yep. So now we have gunpowder for days, which also means that we have rockets galore. So we're gonna leave that running there, and uh, we'll tidy this up in another episode. But I promise, we will tidy it up, because this is... Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> so, let me grab this stuff, put it back in the warehouse, and I will meet you up there. Okay, I have everything stuffed away now, and we are ready for the next project. However, the next project is something completely different. We have a mission on the mountain. <laughs> Namely this guy. I got a suggestion in the comments saying that his name should be Juan. So I am saying his name will be Juan. And I have brought me a name tag for Mr. Juan. Hey, 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 stop. You stay here, Juan. Uh... Don't make me, don't make me lead you immediately, but apparently you are making me, so you come here, hang on tight, and we will go to the top of the mountain, so to speak. I don't know how toppy this is, it's quite toppy, and here we will put you, and I am going to build you a little stable over here, so that, so that you have something to live in. However, I just realized I don't have any dirt with me, but I'm very glad I have wings, because then we can just fly back and get dirt. So we're not gonna do anything special here. I'm just gonna put up a small, small stable for him to, uh, to live out his days in peace until we finally come back and do the whole mission and bring him down the mountain, okay? Okay, that's gonna be good. Go, and then we can just boom, boom, boom. That is very low. And then for... What the... Hey, 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 hey. Where did you come from? You're not welcome here. This is a... This is a horse sanctuary. <laughs> Get away. This is most peculiar. I think we need to take care of this. This is a health hazard. And we are... Another one? This is better than my creeper farm. <laughs> So, Juan needs some water, of course, and he's gonna need some food, like a so, perfect, nope, don't like it, don't have to overdo it, perfect, do we need anything else, or should we grab old Juan, okay, I think we've done enough here, let's grab Juan, and lead him into the stables. There we go. Now, Juan has a place to stay. And of course, we're missing one thing. One crucial thing. Juan's sanctuary. Of course we need that. <laughs> uh, let's step back and take a look at this, shall we? Oh, look at that. How cute is that with a little horse on top of the mountain? <laughs> I love it. This is the best. So this was a fun and stupid little one-off <laughs> one thing to do, but I like it. I think this turned out great with for a 5 or 10 minute build. So 
I liked it a lot. I had a lot of fun doing this small, small thing here, and I hope you enjoyed it too. So if you want to see more of these kinds of buildings, then just hit me up in a comment with a name for an animal or something else that would be fun to see. And uh, if I feel inspired by it, I will build it. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Bye bye, Juan. I will see you later. I will come for you, I promise. So now, I think it's time to take care of this. And this does not look good. And I think before we do anything with this area, we need to terraform it a bit. We need to cover up some of this stuff and this here. So let me grab some dirt and just terraform that. And then after that, we can get the materials and start building our uh, Breath of the Wild thingy. Okie dokie guys, welcome back. I have uh, stuffed all of the stuff away and I have also gathered all of the material now for the next build which are collected here and I've color coded it because we are going to need some purple stuff and we are going to need some of the blue stuff and we are going to need some of the sweet sweet green. And also we're gonna, uh, okay wood, yes we're gonna need a lot of wood and here is dirt. We're gonna need dirt, I think. I think we're just gonna start up by seeing if we can get the basic shape right. Perfect! So if you didn't figure it out, then we've made a circle around our farm. That's that's what we made. And this circle is now something we are going to bring up. I think what we should do now, because this is just gonna be wood and dirt placing so i think let me jump into a little time lapse and build up the base structure here and even maybe do the color coding because that is also not going to be very exciting and then after that i'll bring you guys back in we can take a look at it and we will uh, do the rest of the exciting uh, exciting job together sounds good sounds good yes so let's chop it away Alrighty then, we are done and I am super proud with what we have achieved with this build. It turned out, I think, even better than I could even imagine. And if we swoop around here, we can see it in it, all its magnificent glory. So, this is inspired by, if you've played Zelda Breath of the Wild on uh, 
uh, yeah, if you played Zelda Breath of the Wild, you've seen the stables in that game, and this that's what inspired me to do this. So of course, I don't have the big horse head and stuff on top, instead I made it kind of like a windmill or something. Something for them to harvest the energy of the winds to to get something out of it, maybe for cooking food and preparing stuff and working inside of this area. And then, of course, I also had to just do some terraforming here because I was not happy with the valley here. So I think this is going to... I mean, it, it doesn't look good at the moment, but it is going to provide us with a good canvas. So my thought is this. So the weary travelers coming from far and wide, they come here through the woods, they know there's gonna be a town of some sort over here, and then they come through here and kind of see this. Maybe we should build up some more trees here to really, you know, make it reveal itself as they go through this small passage here, and then they feel like, ah, we are finally safe, except for Mr. Skeleton in there that shot me before. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm... I'm really happy with this. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. I'm super excited to learn more about what you think. I left this opening here open, <laughs> of course, because this is where we have the villagers and the villager breeder, and I don't know what to do with what to do with this yet. So we're gonna leave that for later. But what I want to do now is, of course, decorate this place a bit so it's not just a building that we plopped onto a grass hill it's actually gonna come to life as well and what i think we should do is we should build some more small tents in this area and like a, a fireplace and stuff where they can hang out in the evenings and cook their food and get warm up before they go to bed and stuff like that and then over on this side we could maybe do some uh, some horse uh, stables or something to keep here. Uh, don't spit. Don't you die. Don't spit. Shame on you. Stop. That's it. You're done. And don't spit at your friend because that's even worse. Then he starts spitting at you and you're gonna kill each other. Thank you. So, uh, Minecraft hack, if you didn't know it. Boop them once, they will spit on you. Boop them twice, and they are done. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's do this. What should we do first? Maybe we should do the fire pit. So I brought some uh, I brought some ingredients here that uh, could be could be good for this. So let me tinker away and try some stuff out with this fireplace, and I will uh, get back to you as soon as I have something to show for. All right. I think this turned out pretty cool, to be honest. So we have this fire pit here with glowing hot uh, coal and some that's actually gone cold as well. So they need to bring that back to life, I guess. And then we have the barbecue pit here, which is cooking up one hot spicy tomato soup <laughs> or something similar. I don't really know, but I like it. I think it turned out great. So now let's turn our attention to maybe here and maybe here I don't know here at least let's do a tent I've never done a tent I think let's get rid of this so it's no longer in the way because we don't have any villagers to protect anymore so don't really need it so wall is gone however I want to not I don't want to go further than this with this style because I think this should be like a, a stop for the for the wanderers and the travelers to to rest before they visit the village so maybe maybe they come in the middle of the night then they stay in this tent here or in the tents around here and then in the morning they are more than welcome to visit the village and do the trading and whatever they want but we're gonna do that in another episode so for now let's try and do a tent here and how do you do a tent i have no idea let's figure it out so is this a good tent size or is that too small i think maybe this could be good and then maybe we can do one more over here and then we're gonna get rid of these houses yes i'm getting rid of this house now to be honest i want uh, more of this space so i guess you're gonna have to go maybe i can get your head thank you <laughs> well hello there let's chop chop <laughs> all right so yeah, it's a weird shape, but uh, it's gonna work. Trust me on this one. 
Let's get some uh, wool for it. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? I think... Hey. What are you doing here? There we go. So, I think this turned out very well, to be honest. It's a, a weird shape. It's on the, the on an angle. But, you know, uh, with some... If we fix up the floor, we can do that real quick. And I think maybe we should do... Maybe we should do wooden floor in here. What do you say about that? All right. And then maybe maybe we should do, you know, like... So it's a little bit tighter to come in here. Can Is that gonna look good? I don't really know. Let's just try and maybe put one of these here. And we need the axe. And boom. Oh, look at that little campsite. Isn't that cute? I think this is very nice. So let me tinker away a bit more with this area and try to figure out what else I want to do here. And I will get back to you after that. Alrighty then, we are done and I have something to show you. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I mean, you've seen this one before. This is... Oh, this is looking so cool. And then we made the tents over here and the, the fireplace, right? So, I made four tents. Uh, no, four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. Three tents. We have the fireplace and then you saw this one first, I think. And then we made two diagonal tents here, which I like building on angles like this because it always gives a little bit extra life to the scene. And I think this one with the gold and the honey blocks and everything turned out so cool. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Let's go inside and take a look at them because of course we did some interiors. And this might look a little bit weird, but you can actually climb trapdoors like this if you have a ladder on underneath. So let's just climb up and then we have to crouch to get through this little opening and then we have a working bed here so we can have a nap. So this is the single bedroom, so to speak. And down here we have a small kitchen area where you can eat and you can get some water and whatnot and uh, yeah i think it turned out very nice and then this one here this is the medium sized tent and up here we have a little lush carpet and we have two nice beds for you and a friend who likes to hit their head when they sleep <laughs> uh, oh, uh, even a flower in here yes and down here we have a little bit of a bigger area so I really like this table design here. I put a piston down there and just a redstone torch underneath to extend the piston. And that actually makes for a quite sweet table, if you ask me. And we have some cooking area over here. And we have just a small table here, you know. And then you can crouch in here and have a look outside at the, at the nightfall. And speaking of nightfall, let's get some sleep, some shut-eye, before we go on to the next tent. Oh no. I was just about to say that it's very important that you stand on the right block here, because if you stand on that block over there, then you end up here when you have slept and then there's no way out. Ow. Uh. No. Uh. 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 It can't. I can't. Oh. I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> and no. Boom. Bed is back. Okie dokie. Okay, okay, okay. So, last tent. This is cool. I like it. I, I lost a little bit of... Oh, oh am I... Uh, am I crouching? No, why am I... Why am I falling down into the floor? <laughs> okay, so I made the floor out of scaffolding. I just thought it would be cool to, to do something else than the usual floors. And then we have our little cooking area over here. You have some spices here, some oregano or something you can throw into your dishes. And we have the kitchen table here, of course. And the rear... Ah! Exit if you want to. And then if we go around again and we go up the stairs, uh, this is actually a little parkour house, so you have to be lucky to get in. Most of the times I just fall down. <laughs> up here we have a double bedroom, but maybe for the couple that have lived together for 10 plus years and don't want to sleep next to each other anymore, then this is perfect, yes. Yes, 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 so that is it. And we made this fireplace, of course, and I think it turned out cool. But I have one more thing to show you that I did, but let's take this way around. So, over on this side, I made a wagon. And I think this is 
absolutely beautiful. So this wagon, I, uh, I, I, did, I couldn't come up with a good design and I knew how I wanted it to look, but I really just couldn't make it. So I started Googling and I found this uh, cool small YouTube channel called DTG Gaming Family and they had an, uh, a tutorial for a really sweet wagon. So I based this one up on that tutorial and I would like to give a shout out to them. I've been talking to them a bit and they're pretty cool, cool guys there. So be sure to check them out. I will leave a link to both of those channels down in the description, of course. So check it out. But this this wagon, I mean, yeah, it turned out great. We have the llamas here just, you know, hanging out. And then we have our little uh, traveling merchant sitting in there behind his workbench. Hmm. And uh, yeah, you can actually, you can go inside here and we, it's, uh, this is also a functional home. So we can sleep here and we have some storage, of course. And then if we go outside, we can just take a look at what it looks like. I love that big old windmill on top of the tent. I think those wings turned out really good. And then like an arrow tip on the other side here. So this adds, I think this scene here adds so much life to our, our village here, our town. And I am really looking forward to building more around this area and... Uh, yeah, you know, putting up some trees and bushes and more, I don't know, houses, tents, whatever. We're gonna make that in the other episodes, though. Because for now, I think we're done. This episode was a build-heavy episode. We made the creeper farm, which turned out to work perfect. If you manage to AFK on top of this platform, then you will only get spawns in the farm. And you will have gunpowder for days. So I'm going to AFK here pretty soon, because we are going mining with TNT. In between episodes and then of course we did this beautiful beautiful area down here which is right now my favorite area in this world but for now i would like to say thank you to all of you who have been watching this episode pressing the like button and i've gotten a few new subscribers as well since the last episode so welcome and thank you so uh, yep Take care, guys, and uh, be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about this build. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Can I improve on something? What should I build next to it? Let me know. I'm open for suggestions. Oh, and by the way, one final thing before we sign out. We must say hello to Juan one last time. One last time. <laughs> hello, Juan. Are you doing okay? Hello, good boy. Yes, hello. Okay, guys, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now and... Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Bye-bye.